I'm Kevin Thomas, Senior Pastor of Forest Lake United Methodist Church. Thank you for joining us as we study this week's lectionary readings. Today, let's talk about Romans chapter 5, verses 1 through 8. Therefore, since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have obtained access to this grace in which we stand. And we boast in our hope of sharing the glory of God. And not only that, but we also boast in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, character produces hope, and hope does not disappoint us, because God is, God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that he has given to us. For while we were still weak, at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. Indeed, rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person someone might actually dare to die. But God proves his love toward us, in that while we still were sinners, Christ died for us. Grace is a gift that we didn't earn and we don't deserve. God invites us into the kingdom of heaven, not because of what we've done, but because of who God is. God provides this loving gift without charge. In this text, Paul boasts about grace. He boasts not because of his accomplishments, but because of God's goodness. But then he boasts about suffering. I've read those words hundreds of times. This week they feel heavier. Those words have a different gravity about them as I read them during a pandemic and in the midst of racial tensions and riots. I question my family's safety today more than at any other time in my life. It's nothing I want to boast about. Paul's boasting points towards hope, though. That hope is rooted in the very grace about which he boasts. If God is so good to give us the kingdom as a free gift, how much more will he be present with us in these current trials? God's grace, uh, God's grace doesn't just save us. It also sustains us through everything that this life throws at us. Paul closes out his text by reminding us that even when we were enemies with God, Christ died for us. The one who suffered for us will overcome the suffering we face. The weeks are getting long. The worry is real. Each day our culture seems more dangerous. If you're struggling, pray. God is near. Reach out to a pastor or a friend to pray with you. Remember, we have a God who suffers with us. Cling to hope. Hope does not disappoint, because God who raised Christ Jesus from the dead will also strengthen us for every challenge that we face.